1947, shortly after the close of World War II, 23 nations signed a general agreement on tariffs and trade, the GATT. Its purpose was to liberalize and expand world trade. Stability, a sense of global community, they were the key. For five decades, the GATT would grow, adding more members and becoming the World Trade Organization. We are writing the Constitution for a single global economy. With over 150 member nations, the WTO controls 90% of world trade. Unlike the GATT, the WTO can impose punishing fines on member countries that don't abide by its laws. Along with this expansion of free trade, the WTO avows to help developing countries benefit fully from the global trading system. It has very little to do with trade, and it's certainly not free. It's a system of global governance none of us voted for and none of us control. It simply means breaking down the borders of countries so that large corporations will be free to operate anywhere without interference by governments or the people of these nations. And what they are saying is that money values should rule over life values, that human rights and the environment should be subordinated to the needs of commerce. The clean air rules were gutted. Cases of asthma increased. Genetically modified foods forced onto European consumers. Small-scale banana growers crushed by large corporations. Despite the problems and criticism, the WTO continues to grow, making it more powerful than ever. On the upcoming meeting in Seattle, dubbed the Millennium Round, new issues will be added to the WTO's existing rules. Imposing even tighter corporate control over more areas of our lives. To many, this meeting has become a battle for the future. Gotta be a little crazy to take this gig. All right. Okay, you wait for my signal before we descend, all right? I'm Lou, by the way. Oh, Jay. You better get going before you're eating breakfast in jail. Well, I don't plan on getting arrested until at least tomorrow. protesters may be in the streets to demonstrate against the WTO. Critics it's been of the 30 years since the Democratic Convention riots of 1968 pitted police and protesters against each other. But some fear history will repeat itself this week in Seattle as the World Trade Organization prepares to hold its first ever ministerial meeting on U.S. soil. 
We have identified the subjects of our most recent surveillance photos, and they're not anarchists as we originally thought. All right, so we have a great team of lawyers that are pulling together to help us out on this. It's really important that you call this All number. Right, All right. First one, Django Mills, arrested in four different countries for property damage involving whaling ships and trip trawlers. Right. Louise Phillips, burned down her father's animal research lab, although she wasn't formally charged. She has been involved in black bloc demonstrations that have turned violent. Samantha Clayton, no criminal record, appears to have studied law and was involved in the Sequoia Forest legal case back in 98. And last but not least, Jay Elgin. We've got 13 major intersections downtown, and each of the affinity groups are going to shut these areas down. Now, how are we going to do it? Nonviolent. That's right, and by consensus. Jay's brother was killed in the Sequoia Forest demonstration. Help! Help! My brother's been hit! My brother's been hit! Since then, he's been involved in every major demonstration across the country, including getting himself arrested at the IMF in 98. We need to show our hands of those of you that are prepared to go to jail if need be. And don't feel bad if you're not. We need as many people on the outside as we can get. All right, people. Well, opening ceremonies begin in about 24 hours, so please get ready, because we're going to shut these motherfuckers down! We set up two tripwire barricades around the Paramount Theater. Now, we believe that all the protesters will be concentrated there. Now, to get through that, they're going to have to climb fences, jump over metro buses, at which point they'll be arrested. Well, make sure we're only arresting them there, okay? I want to keep this city's image clean. How many protesters are we expecting? Several thousand, maybe ten. Are we ready for this? Quite sure of it. The WTO opening ceremonies are scheduled to take place at the Paramount Theater downtown.